Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and we'd like to officially announce that it's a new year here at Norman's Rare Guitars. Woohoo! Yes, yes. And wow, what a, what a holiday that was. Mm -hmm. Everything got canceled, but you know, we did our best, and it was good to see the family and, and stop back home, And uh, but it's good to be back with the Norman's Rare Guitars family as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I, I was just so grateful for everybody that's watched uh, all the episodes last year, and, and it's crazy how many we've done. It's really getting crazy. <laughs> I don't even know who's done more. It, how many has Mark done? That's the question. Uh, Compa I don't know. You guys are getting We're close. We're getting close. That's getting what scares close. me. Yeah. You guys are getting <laughs> no, no, pretty close. Cool. We got to ask Bob. Actually, Bob. Yeah, will yeah. Know. I got to check because it's getting up there. But. Uh, but uh, also, um, yesterday, uh, January 3rd, I released a song called La Cienega. Um, it's a song I had written for a little bit, but um, it kind of really came to the forefront now. Uh, I recorded it properly, and and uh, my producer, Paul Brown, um, really did a great job kind of taking the recording home um, and just knocking it out of the park. So uh, check it out. It's on Spotify. I think it's on everything, Apple Music, and we're going to have hard copy soon, but that just came out. And then uh, in March, we'll have the full album. So Ooh. yes, thank you guys so much. Wait, 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 wait. Can you do it on vinyl? Can you guys yeah, I know. We got to do vinyl. Yes. Cause I, I know, have I a vinyl them. record now, so I got I know, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. And Jen took the cover photo, which is really oh. cool. Um, so, and she's got credit on that album. So hey. that's cool. Um, but yeah, we have a really cool guitar today. Let's get back to what we do here, which is guitar of the day. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so today we have a 2017 Fender Custom Shop Gene Baker Founders Design Strat Tele Hybrid. Ooh, that's a title. That is a title. That it's a no guitar. <laughs> No, no, this is a really, really cool guitar. Um, so yeah, this is like hardcore stuff. First of all, my favorite part is that headstock. Um, you got a Strat headstock on the outline and on the inline, you kind of got the Tele headstock, which I think it looks really, really cool. Um, also, the neck is really, really nice. It's kind of got the V shape based off of like a 1956 profile. Um, and also you can see that custom shop founders design, which is really, really cool. Um, from 1987 to 2017, um, you got that plaque, um, signed, uh, by Gene Baker. Um, really, really cool to kind of that sign, sign off that this has only seen so many hands. Um, but it's really cool on the back. You have kind of the Strat contour, um, up top and then back on the bottom, it kind of flattens out in your Bintelli world. Um, but let's take a look at the front. What's also cool too, it's got the Strat um, whammy bar, so you can kind of go all crazy, but with some Tele tones as well. It's a five-way selector, set up like Strat pickups, and then the back you kind of get that Tele sound. Um, but one volume, one control knob, Tele pick guard with a little Strat on top. Um, but the frets are ju they're jumbo frets on this, so you can bend till till you can't stop. <laughs> but uh. But really, really cool guitar. I even love that it's kind of, it's kind of got like a two-tone kind of chocolate kind of burst to it. Um, but really cool guitar. And uh, I know it's, it's kind of so strat vibes. I know, I just can't, I'm like all like discombobulated over this guitar. I know. But it is really cool. And uh, it has a unique sound. It definitely captures both guitars, um, the Tele and the Strat. And uh, it's got a lot of cool case candy too. And the case is gorgeous. But you have, uh, this so official. Founders design. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh, somebody. Oh no, those are these are all notes. Oh. Like, really, really cool stuff. Them in the factory. So, really, really cool piece from Fender. And the probably the two most popular guitars, maybe not to me, that Fender has done, <laughs> <laughs> is the Strat and the Tele. Um, no jazz master in there. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but uh, but no, really cool and uh, a, a powerful instrument. So let's take it out front and see what we can do. It's like if they really had a baby. They, yeah. They're crazy. Man, I could have thought of that. <laughs> Great tagline. Thank you. Hello, everybody. We're back here at Norman's Rare Guitars, <laughs> and it's a new year. Uh, we're out front with the 2017 Fender Custom Shop Gene Baker Founders Design Strat slash Tele Hybrid. 
So if you're staring at this wondering if it's Shredder Day, it's not. It's Telly Tuesday. Just half of a Telly Tuesday. <laughs> um, we're also going through a 60s Fender Twin Reverb uh, starting off on that neck. Let's start with the, the single that I released yesterday called La Cienega. middle together see what we get Up, see what we get. Kind of an extra twangy sound on this guitar.
twangy sound with this guitar. It really is a split between a Strat and a Telecaster. Uh, let's go to bridge and see what we get. guitar of the day it's a 2017 fender custom shop gene baker founder design strat telly hybrid really cool guitar i've never seen anything like it um and definitely you'll be noticed for playing something like this really crazy um check them all out at normansrayguitars.com and also on instagram and facebook i'm your host michael emma see you soon bye